So this is part two of the Lapai Stereo Audio Amplifier. And this is going to show how to modify it for the higher output. Now we know last time we discussed that this would need a heat sink. Spec sheet on this uh, chip said that it would need a heat sink to draw away the excess heat. So what I've done is very carefully drilled two small holes, one there and one there. Comes through on the other side and a small screw is going to be put through there. That size. Ooh. I've actually modified this heat sink here to uh, go in here. So it's going to go in something like that. Okay, I'm going to put some heat sink compound there. And I've already tapped the screw hole for this for this screw. It's going to go in that hole through that one. And then I'm going to drill another one on the other side, that an equal hole from there to go through there. So the heat sink will sit on it something like that. And I had to do it in this fashion because these chip surface mount components here, they stand up over the board, so I needed to have something that would not interfere with that. So it should do okay. So here's the heat sink. Here's how it's been installed on top of the chip. Okay. Barely misses those devices there. You can't see it, but uh, that one fin right there just misses those uh, chip devices there and there. That's how I made it, like that with those screws. It's very nicely through the board. Also wanted to point out, running this at 20 volts will be no problem. Uh, there's one of the electrolytic capacitors in the circuit. That's 25 volts. Okay. And I've looked at all these capacitors. They're all minimum 25 volts. These are inductors. So this this amp will easily take 20 volts to put out maximum power. So here's the amp hooked up. Got the heat sink installed here. Fan is cooling both resistor and also running across this heat sink. And that's the 4 ohm load. These are two 20 watt resistors each and they are out oh, very hot right now. This has been on for like Oh, 10 minutes now. So I'm operating it at 20 volts, looking at two and a half amps. And over here, our oscillator is set at one kilohertz. You see the button is pushed there for 1K. At the oscilloscope, we see uh, 34.6 volts. See 34.6 volts, and 4 ohm. Put the watts out. About 37 and a half watts output. That's RMS. This heat sink is very cool. I think the only way this amp, this configuration, would work in this case is if a fan were put into the case somehow with vents to blow air through it or just build an entire new case with a, a small fan, just enough to blow air across it. I'm using this uh, audio test generator and right now I got it set at 20 hertz. All right, there's the button for times 10 and we come over to the scope and we see we have a really nice waveform at 35.4 volts and that's maximum power watch if I turn it up it won't go any higher it'll clip so we know that is maximum right there I'll be turning this up and we'll be going through all the frequencies all the way up to 20k and then some so we're going to go through the frequencies. I'll sweep each one. Here we go. That's 20 hertz. Looking really flat. Turn the light away from it so far. Got to reset the scope here every, every so often. There's the, now, that's 100 hertz. Still flat. You see, you're moving it in. It is not varying at all. Okay. There it is. Let's widen out the scope a little bit. There's one kilohertz. All right. We're starting from one kilohertz again. We're seeing, we're dialing it in, going up higher than one kilohertz. 
that's like 4k right there into 4 ohms and widen the scope out a little bit so there is 10 kilohertz and we're seeing it it's 15 kilohertz widen the scope out there's 20 kilohertz it's showing a little distortion but not bad not too bad and uh, that's where it starts to really start rolling out that's 40 kilohertz right there all right so there's 20 20 kilohertz and if we vary the volume up and down yeah, that's where it clips it starts to clip and that's at uh, full power output this will indeed provide 37 watts RMS per channel it's a good amp if modified this way it'll work great I give it thumbs up